Greetings everyone, Kenji here, your sculptor, and welcome back to Life of Clay. It's been a while since I last shared with you a do-it-yourself sculpting tool video tutorial. So this time I will be showing you how to make a scale texturing tool version 2.0. But before we get started, please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the notification bell icon so you will be updated whenever a new video is up. And without wasting more time, come bring the clay on and let's make another personalized sculpting tool. Before we get into it, I just want to show you the comparison of these two scale texturing tools that I made. This first version that I made is apparently just a straight and simple one. It really does the job but it's slightly flattening the clay after each roll. See that guys? So I came up with the idea to improve it even more. So in this scale texturing tool version 2.0, I made the shape slightly differ and form it into concave cylinder shape instead. That when you roll it on the clay, especially a rounded snake of clay, it doesn't leave the surface flat because of its concave shapes that follows the contour of any rounded and slender piece of clay. Did you guys see the obvious difference from the first one? Okay, so let's begin. First, let's make the tip of this tiny wooden stick into diamond shape by shaping it using a cutter. And the size of the tip is depending on your preferred size of scales that you need for your projects. Next, using an old brush, Twist and pull to remove the ferrule or the metal that holds its bristles. Then using a poking tool to punch its tip and start drilling hole on it, about 2 cm deep. Next preparing a 3mm aluminum rod by cutting at least 6 inches of it and scores its one end using a cutter. And I will be using two parts epoxy compound and you can purchase some of these on Amazon or in local hardwares near your areas. Just by combining equal amount of each part to form the compound and in this case I only need a pin to bin size of the compound. You can mix it with your bare hands or with disposable gloves in case you have any allergic reaction to epoxy. I do not have any allergy to it but I wore gloves just because I don't like the tuckiness while mixing it. Now that the compound is ready, let's wrap it on the scored tip of the aluminum rod. And using this large bolted tool, roll them against each other while applying gentle pressure to form the epoxy into a concave cylinder. And smooth out its both ends using fingers to make it neat. And then set it aside to cure. And now it's completely cured. We can now add thin layer of the epoxy compound on its concave surface. Then correcting its surface using the same rolling method. Smoothing it out and let's start adding the scale details using this wooden stick we prepared earlier. Let's begin on the lower part moving upward, pressing the stick gently and create a single vertical pile of scales. Repeating the process but in every column make sure that each scales are arranged alternately to form the crisscross pattern until the pile meet the other end. And now that all the inverted scales are added, let's set it aside to cure. I trimmed the aluminum rod a little bit and we can now attach it to its handle, applying cyanoglue on the hole and insert its end. 
And now the moment of truth, it's time to test it. See that guys, it's working effectively, now adding scale texture to your projects will be easier and will definitely save you a lot of time. In this next clips, I will be showing you some part of my previous ball python sculpture where I use the same tool, in case you haven't watched it yet. And that's it guys, our new improved scale texturing tool version 2.0 is finally done. Hope you did like and enjoy this DIY video tutorial and may you also find it helpful and useful for your projects as well. And if ever you made your version of this tool, please tag me on my other social media accounts and I would be glad to check them out. Expect more tutorial like this one in the future and the pleasure is mine to share them with you. So please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell icon right next to it so you don't miss out any of my future videos. You can also leave your thoughts in the comments section down below and feel free to share this video with our friends. Thank you again for watching and have a great day everyone.